What's up guys, GG Richards here and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Whilst you're here guys, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and whilst you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are vastly growing on the way to 1,000 subs. So morning routine, I've just done my 30 minutes of cardio and I'm just about to do abs. So I always like to train abs in the morning, I usually train them like 3-4 times a week. So I find if I do it at the end of the workout, I don't really give them the attention they need because I'm usually fatigued from the workout. So we're going to do three exercises today. So we're going to do a weighted rope crunch, a hanging leg raise, and then like a half crunch on the bench, making sure I'm focused on all aspects of the abdominals because one of the areas I want to make sure I improve for the stage this year is I just want deeper separated abs. So I'm going to make sure I'm hitting them as hard as I can to get that look. But let's go and hit up some abs. Finley, what? what are you eating? <clears throat> are you eating Biscoff straight out the jar? No more. Uh, you've eaten all of it? Is that healthy? No. But is it tasty? <laughs> Good. Are you eating my chicken? Are you eating my chicken? Right, so literally just finished doing all my meal prep. Just about to sit here and eat some breakfast now. But I've got to try and get Finley to not eat all of my food. So even though it's the weekend and I find that although I'm going to be at home all day, I still like to try and get all my meals prepped, cooked nice and early. Because if we decide we want to go out with the kids or we want to go for a walk or we want to go for a drive somewhere, I'm not restricted to how long I can go out or I've got to start flapping about cooking my food. So I find if it's there, it's done. I've got four meals there for the weekend. I know that if we go out, I can just take a meal with me and my kind of diet isn't impacting my life too much. So although I could cook fresh, I'd rather just get it done and kind of know that it's there ready to rock and roll when we need it. So I'm just gonna eat breakfast now because I'm hungry. It's been about 45 minutes since I finished the cardio. So we're gonna smash this down and I'll catch up with you guys after that for the plan for the rest of the day. Right, so just gonna quickly make a morning run to the shops before then back to doing client check-ins because these beautiful weighing scales here, they've lasted me quite a while. They've traveled a lot, however, See that? I accidentally set them on fire. So I'm a little bit mindful, although they work, I'm not sure how accurate they are, because they're a little bit dodgy. So I'm gonna go and buy some new skills. I've got to go and get a few other bits as well. I'll show you guys what I'm about to pick up, and then we'll come back home, have some coffee, because I've not had a coffee yet, and then we'll sit down for a couple of hours and do some client check-ins. <laughs> Right, so we've just got back in from the supermarkets now, so let me show you guys what we've got. So this isn't really so much food for me, it's more food for the family. And also tomorrow I'm going to be cooking Lucy a special Mother's Day roast. So let me show you what delights we've got on offer for that tomorrow. Right, so here's the stuff for the roast tomorrow. So we've got a garlic and parsley chicken, beautiful, cooking the bag as well so it's dead easy. This is from Marks and Spencer's, like you cannot beat their food. So we've got some stuffing, carrot and sweet, some carrots, and then what I do is I put those and mix them with honey and some whole grain mustard, and they taste insane. Good old Lazy Aunt Betty's roast potatoes, some broccoli. So somebody actually commented and said, I never see you eating veg. So tomorrow I'm gonna show you me eating some veg. 
These um, char-grilled Mediterranean vegetables, we kind of have those with the steak meal in the evening. Now carbs is dropped out of that meal. They're pretty good. Oat milk for Lucy's coffee. This, the world's greatest peanut butter. Like, convince me that I'm wrong, but I'm not. Tomorrow's pudding, sticky, toffee pudding. I actually prefer this vegan Alpro custard because I try not to have too much dairy. And I actually prefer this to regular custard. Couple of no added sugar, tomato and basil sauces for a mince meal. Bagels, which we all eat. Juice for the kids, pasta for the kids. And what else did we get, Finley? Some breakfast cereals for Finley, which you're going to eat now, right? You're going to eat them now? Yeah, a late breakfast? I can't, I can't open it. Daddy'll do it. So we'll keep continuing just to slightly drop the calories each week, just to push you into a little bit of a deficit and obviously give the digestion a little bit of a break as well from the high food that we've been running. And then what we can do is then when gyms reopen again and you're able to train hard and properly again, what we'll then do is slowly start pushing the calories up a little bit more. Obviously we should get a good rebound from the deficit that we'll put you in over the next four weeks. And then we can focus on obviously gaining some strength, pushing the calories back up, um, and then hopefully um, we'll be able to see some decent gains without getting the body fat too out of control. So keep doing what you're doing with the home workouts, mate, and um, they're absolutely fine. Um, obviously, you know, we're not going to gain muscle with what you've got, but we're just going to try and maintain what you've got. And then we'll be able to push again, hopefully in four weeks. So keep up the good work, mate. Right. So let me show you guys this. So Lucy bought herself a new toy. She thinks it's the best thing in the world. However, I'm not convinced. And what the toy is, is this little guy here. So this, apparently, is a robot lawnmower. That's right, a robot lawnmower. And what it's supposed to do, there's a little track that goes all the way around the garden. So it's supposed to follow this like, electrical track all the way around the garden. And then somehow it's supposed to, oh, it's stopped. It stopped. So basically, this thing hasn't yet made it around the whole garden. I want to send it back, but Lucy yeah. is adamant no, no, it's no, going to no, work. No, right, so currently it has made it all the way around here, all the way to the corner. So I'm going to say it's literally halfway there. So far, so good. But I'm not convinced it's actually cutting anything. But that, that's that's phase two, right, Luce? Phase two. Let it get around the garden first. I just don't know what it's going to do when it gets to the centre. I don't understand how it's then going to start doing the middle, but I guess we will see. Now, you cannot tell me that watching this robot lawnmower trying to make it around my garden is not like the best YouTube content ever. So if you haven't already subscribed, then this epic content right here has to convince you that this channel is just full of exciting stuff. Look at him go. He's nearly there. He's literally just got to get to the end of the garden there. But once it gets to that point, I'm not convinced it's then gonna start going around the middle, but stay tuned and we'll find out. Right, so this is a real challenging part because what it's now gotta do is it's gotta go around the tree. So you've gotta kind of put the electric cable thing around the tree otherwise when it's going back and forth it's just going to smash into the tree so let's see if it's going to make it oh oh he's doing all right he's doing all right that's a tight corner I'll be down. It's made it around the tree. That's possibly the biggest obstacle is the tree. Let's see if we can make the shaft bend. Can we do it? It got so far! 
Right, so no joke, this is like the 10th attempt of getting this thing around the garden. It's about to make it home. Now let's see what it does. Okay. It's doing summer. Okay. Yep, it's doing summer. Now go forward. What are you doing? What are you doing, mate? No, that's a fence. Yep. That's it, go on. Nope. No. Nope. Right, okay, so no joke. It's still just deciding what it wants to do over in the corner. So, last weekend, Lucy must have spent about 10 hours trying to get this track right. We've spent quite a while today trying to figure it out. Lucy's got far more patience than me, because after 15 minutes of it not working, I would have boxed it up, took it back, and said, this piece of shit ain't working. But I think Lucy is finally coming to the conclusion that this robot mower is just not to be. Right, so it's now Sunday. Update on the robot lawn mower. Unfortunately, still no progress, but apparently Lucy reread the instructions yesterday and apparently we've been going around in the wrong direction. How that makes any difference, I have no idea, but I almost feel like this video needs to have some kind of part two. So the next vlog, I will give you an update on whether that mower is boxed up, gone back to where it came from, or it's efficiently cutting the grass like the thing is supposed to do. But anyway, just about to prepare for this epic Mother's Day Sunday lunch right here. Look at that. Beautiful man can cook. So this is gonna be the weekly cheat meal. I actually messed up last week because I'm actually 12 weeks out today. Whereas last week I thought it was 12 weeks out. So I've kind of gained a week, which is which is good to be fair. But Finley's trying to show you his Mother's Day card. Is it good? Look at that. Artist. You gonna show him inside? Look at that, look at that writing. Genius. Genius. Right, but I'm gonna end this video now because I've got some serious cooking to do. Then once I've eaten this, I'm gonna let it digest, then we're gonna go and train some chess and let all that Sunday roast goodness go straight to the pectorals. But I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time Finley, what do we say? Peace. Peace.